Hi, this is Lindsay. I'm the lead program librarian at Multnomah County Library. Uh, we're really excited to work with Laura from the organization Trash for Peace on how you can make your own binoculars out of recycled materials from around your house. Um, this is a great activity for kids in school, grades K through five. They may need some help with the scissors. Um, and we have a list of the materials you'll need uh, linked under this video. So we hope that you're staying safe um, and well and enjoy the craft. Also check out our website for more of the activities and performances. Thanks. Good morning. My name is Laura. I'm the executive director of Trash for Peace. We are very excited to be able to share with you today two of our favorite hands-on activities. We have a sustainability education program that we have been lucky enough to partner with Multnomah County Libraries and share some of our favorite activities with the community. And we also implement activities from our sustainability education program throughout the week um, on multifamily housing sites. So we are going to be making binoculars out of toilet paper tubes and um, clamshells. Those are the little lenses that you see here. And we're also going to be making a carrying case out of an egg curtain that you're gonna see when we're all finished as well. So both of these hands-on activities use materials that are hopefully pretty easy to find at home. Um, and you can use them outside. Um, hopefully the weather will stay sunny um, while we are a home um, staying safe and healthy during this situation. So um, the materials that you will need for this craft, you will need three toilet paper tubes, or if you want a paper towel tube, you can cut that in half. That's also totally fine. You will need some paper or junk mail will work as long as you can wrap it around two toilet paper tubes. Um, that will work great. You'll need some clear tape or any tape will also work or a hole punch will also be great. You need um, a clamshell or any kind of plastic if you're gonna be making, or like flimsy, filmy plastic if you're gonna to wanna to make the lenses. So this, for example, was part of this container. We just took the plastic off, or if you have junk mail that has um, an envelope in it, that will work great as well, a clear um, film in it, that'll work perfect. You need some markers or crayons. Um, we have markers today. When I made the example, I couldn't find our markers. Our toddler had hit them somewhere, but I have them with me today. You need a pair of scissors and um, I think I might have mentioned, or I can't remember if I did mention, you need some yarn or some string. Any kind of string will work. Anything that will tie two things together will work out perfectly. So the first thing that you want to do is grab your, uh, grab a piece of paper and make sure it's the right length and height for your toilet paper tubes. So you have two toilet paper tubes right here, and you're going to put them on the table and on top of your paper and make sure they're the right height and the right length so you can see it wraps perfectly if it's a little bit too long just fold make a line and then cut it off um, so it's the right height for your toilet paper tubes it doesn't have to be perfect but it should be just the right height or a little bit shorter it might be a little bit hard to to see out so once you do that you can take some time to just decorate your um, your paper if you want you also don't have to we decorated our binoculars with a rainbow um, and that was because we had heard about a bunch of families that were putting rainbows in their windows as um, a fun scavenger hunt and a message of hope for families and when we have been taking walks in the neighborhood with our boys we've been looking for rainbows in the window and so we um, wanted to make a rainbow for our binoculars as well um, but in this example I made just a little flower inside a heart so you can do whatever whatever you like once you do your little drawing um, or your or decoration, you just want to set that aside. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is take your toilet paper tubes here and you want to kind of put, put them together because these are going to be your binoculars. So you're going to grab toilet paper tubes and you're going to tape them together in the middle. I'm going to do that with the other side. There you go. So once those are taped together, I'm going to set those aside. 
The next thing you're going to do is cut out the lenses. If you want, this step is definitely optional um, and definitely requires some, some assistance with, with adults because it can be kind of hard and sharp to cut out with the clamshell. But you're going to trace with your free toilet paper tube the outline of the toilet paper tube in your plastic clamshell. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to cut that out. So you kind of the little shapes there. So you're going to then cut those out. I have a couple that are pre-cut over here. Again, these do not have to be perfect. If you want to put them together and kind of make them the same size a little bit, or if you want to cut off the black marker, you know, that's great. Totally up to you. So then you're going to grab your lenses and you're going to pick whichever side and you're going to tape them on. And this is where that clear tape will help because you don't see the tape on there. But to be honest, if you don't have clear tape, that's great too. If you have a toilet paper tube, um, or a toilet paper, if you have a hole punch, then you can punch a hole on each side and then tie it on. That works as well. We've done both. So you're just going to get little tiny pieces of tape here. You're going to tape it on each side. There you go. And just two pieces works great. You can always adjust these two once the paper is on there. So now you have your lenses. You can see those. And those are ready for action. So now you're gonna flip over the toilet paper tubes. And I kind of already prepped this, but if you have a hole punch, now is a perfect time to just punch a hole on each side. Or if you're like me and you don't have a hole punch, just bend the end, pinch it down, cut a little slit in the side like this and then just kind of wiggle your scissors in there, or you can also kind of cut a little triangle in the side, and that way you can easily get a little hole in there. And do the same thing on the other side. That's, you can see the little triangle shape much better. It doesn't have to be a circle for the string to fit through. This will work great. After you do that, now you're gonna tape your beautiful drawing around your binoculars. there, take down one side at a time. Perfect. Now you're ready to go with that. Then find the hole where you made your initial um, hole for the, for the yarn and go through the paper with the end of your scissors. This can also require some, some adult assistance. And then you have a little hole that goes all the way through. And same thing on this side as well. Just make a little hole for the paper so the hole goes through. Um, and then you have your two holes that you're gonna use for your string. So this time, you're gonna wanna get a piece of yarn. And you can kind of measure if you want, kind of go around, around your neck to see how long you want it. And you're gonna cut a piece of string off. This part can be a little tricky. In order to get the string through the hole, I like to use my scissors as well, and then I just kind of poke it through there. And then you're going to just tie that off on each side. And then go around to the other side here. now you're ready for action you can do some bird watching or you can use your binoculars to get some nature knickknacks so the next thing that we're gonna do and set that aside is grab your egg carton 
and um, it can be any size egg carton. We, since we're trying to go to the store less often, we got bigger containers of eggs than normal. So you're going to cut off the top and cut off the little, the little side piece. You just have the base of egg carton. And then you're going to cut a hole, and again, with your scissors on each side. So you can kind of just wiggle your scissors in there, or if you need to kind of pinch the side together and cut, that works too. And then kind of get your scissors in there, and you make a hole in each side. The next step is you're gonna go back to your yarn and you're going to cut a string to kind of make it loop, you know, like a little, like you'd like to carry it to the right height for, for how you'd like to carry it. And then you're gonna do another string that exact same size. You have two strings the same size. Then you are going to, oops, these get unstuck. Use your scissors again to poke some holes, or poke the string through the holes, rather. So you can tie it here on one end, and then take the other string and do the same thing on the other side. So over here, take your scissors, poke the hole through there. Right, so now you have your two strings. Now you're gonna hold them together and put them through your other remaining toilet paper tube. So you put them through here, and then they come out the end and you're gonna tie the other ends into the other end of your tray, or of the egg curtains. And you're gonna pull it through here, and you're gonna tie Tie that together, and same thing on the other end. Tie that together, and then voila, you are all set. Now you have a little carrying case for whatever you want to put inside it. If you want, we made a little list of neat nature knickknacks, things that we want to find to put in our carrying case. So some of the things that my, my son came up with, blue flower, gray flower, or gray rock, rather, green leaf, pink flower, brown bark, green grass, yellow petals. And you can kind of collect things in here as you go on a little walk. Maybe things that you find with your binoculars. If you want, you can also decorate your toilet paper tube. You can paint it, you can color with your markers, whatever you want um, to make it kind of fun and, and colorful um, if you'd like. And you can also do the same thing with your binoculars. If you don't want to use paper to go around, you can just color each one and then tape it together. Lots of different options. So I hope this um, was, was inspiring and helping get those creative juices flowing. We are posting different hands-on activities on our Instagram every single day at Trash for Peace. And we are also posting them on our Facebook page we also have an activity book that you can access for free on our website with different activities um, and a calendar of activities um, to hopefully keep, keep you busy and, um, and having fun during this time. So thank you so much for watching and you can also email us with any questions at info at trashforpeace.org. Thank you so much. Take care and um, stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.